Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. This is the Season of Defiance Seal Guide video. So this is the brand new Season of Defiance Seal. I wanted to wait on making this video because it was supposed to come out with some new stuff which ended up being Secret Triumphs on the first week and now they are all out. So now I can talk about it and I can give you a correct seal guide that helps you with all of the missions. So starting off we got Unbowed Unbent. This one is just basically completing the We Stand Unbroken quest line. When you first start out Season of Defiance, you're going to get something called Awaken Queensguard, and it's an intro quest to the Unbowed Unbent Triumph. Once you complete all five steps of that original quest line, you are granted the weekly quest line we stand unbroken. And this is just complete every single weekly quest that you have to do for Mara Saab in the farm. Very easy, very simple, nothing too major there. Up next is Defiant Key Holder. This triumph is to gain bonus rewards by using a Defiant Key at the end of Season of Defiance Battlegrounds missions. Just like other seasons, we have a Battlegrounds mission or we have a seasonal activity that rewards two chests at the end of the mission. And the second chest can be opened using a Defiant Key. Defiant Keys can be earned by completing Lightfall Campaign Missions, Terminal Overload in Neomuna, Raids, Vanguard Ops, Gambit, and Crucible. Up next is Stand on the Table. Acquire upgrades from the War Table in the Helm. This time around for the Helm, if you come over here to the War Table, you'll see that there is a new pyramid structure. You go here, interact with the Helm, and there's a second category here, and upgrades, and it shows you all of the different upgrades you can do. So I'm going to quickly talk about these favor attunement upgrades. So I'm going to skip over the uh, listening to radio messages in the farm because that it, it's very simple. It, that triumph in particular, you don't even worry about it too much. It's tied in with the weekly stuff. You'll end up doing it anyways. But favor attunement, this goes into the next three triumphs. Exemplar of Justice, Exemplar of Grace, an exemplar of seal. You need to have three weekly quests or three three weekly challenges completed in your quest tab, rewarding you war table upgrades. So now you have the ability to actually get five of them so you can get other upgrades on top of the original three upgrades. So in order to get a favor of justice, you have to get ability final blows in seasonal activities once you have this upgrade unlocked. The second one, favors of grace, once you have this upgrade unlocked, you get final blows with any special ammo weapons, and that creates a favor of grace. And then exemplar of seal, the favors of zeal, this one is final blows with heavy ammo weapons. So all three of these are how you get the different favors that you need for the seal. It's going to be a little bit that you have to do in order to get to that point, but that is how you do it. So now that we skip past these three, up next is Big Game Banisher. This one is to defeat champions or bosses in the Defiant Battlegrounds playlist. The first step is one champion or boss. So I can I can attest to this that this is one of the easier challenges that you have to do this season. Up next is Legendary Trifecta. This triumph is to complete the Defiant Battlegrounds on Legend difficulty in all three of the new areas. The EDZ Pyramid, the Cosmodrome Pyramid, and the Orbital Prison Pyramid. Yeah. Orbital Prison, that's a cool one. And once you complete this triumph, you also get the Exotic Sparrow, the Common Nobility. So these next two triumphs were the secret triumphs for the seal, and they just released today, or well, today when I'm recording this video. So here's how you unlock the next two triumphs and make it so that they're not secret anymore. Once you load into the Gulch on the EDZ, you'll find that there are six Vex cores hidden around the Gulch. What you have to do there is no set order, but you have to walk into all six of the Vex cores, and once you do that under a specific time limit, it'll unlock a brand new cave area for you to get into. And once you go into this cave, there's going to be some Vex technology and structures all around, and a giant pit that you can fall down into. Once you fall down into this pit, you're met with a friendly harpy who gives you the ability to load into a new mission called Node Overdrive Avalon. From there, you go into this mission and complete this mission and get the brand new exotic weapon, the Vex Caliber, at the end of the mission. And there's going to be a friendly face in here, so uh, I'm not going to spoil who it is, but if you're interested in the prior Lord of Destiny 2, highly recommend going and checking out this mission, because as soon as you see him, you're going to know exactly who he is. So once you get the Vex Caliber and bring it back to the helm and officially unlock the weapon in your inventory, you're met with two brand new secret triumphs and a full-on quest line given to you. The first triumph is Control-Alt-Complete. 
and it's to complete each of the three quest lines that are available to you once completing Node Overdrive Avalon. The first one being Vex Caliber Authorization Override. The next secret triumph is Disable Safety Routines. This is to complete the Avalon quest or the variable on Legend, Difficulty, or Higher. Up next and the final challenge is Scourge of Light. This is to defeat combatants with Season of Defiance weapons and thankfully for all of you who are confused on what seasonal weapons are, they actually tell you the weapons that work. So you cannot use any other weapon for this challenge other than Perpetualis, Prodigal Return, Regnant, Caretaker, Rock on Tour, and Royal Executioner. So that is all for this video for the Queen's Guard title in Season of Defiance. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you thought this was informational, make sure to subscribe because I got more videos coming out for Destiny 2 Guides. If you want to use my supporter creator code in the Epic Games Store, here it is on screen. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.